Good afternoon, everyone. This is James. Uh, today we'll be discussing photosynthesis, specifically light dependent photosynthesis. Uh, to mix things up, I'm going to teach it three different ways. The first way will be at a fifth grade level. The second way will be at a relative high school level. And lastly, I'll teach it, hopefully convey it at a high school level. So starting off, we have Bob, our big orange blob in the sky. It's going to be our light source. We have our artistically drawn plant here, and we have our uh, main source of uh, water down here uh, from the ground. Where it works is water is extracted up into the plant and uh, the byproduct is O2 and glucose. Moving on to uh, high school level, we have our thylakoid discs, which reside within the chloroplast that exists within every leaf uh, and within plants. Again, our source water source remains the same, uh, byproduct being ATP, in ADPH and O2. All right, so if you ever had to explain that to a high school student, that's the way you do it. Moving on, lastly, uh, describing photosynthesis at a collegiate level, we have our light source blob, Bob, orange, uh, big orange blob in the sky, hitting down uh, radiating photons. We'll do P for photons, raining down on our chlorophyll. This will be chlorophyll two and then chlorophyll one also known as photosystem one or photosystem two, photosystem one. So uh, as uh, the photons radiate down into the chlorophyll, the chlorophyll, uh, the electrons within the chlorophyll become excited and they begin to transport down the electron transfer chain. As that's happening, chlorophyll is now uh, at a loss because it no longer has a balance, uh, react, or balance equation because it's missing its electrons. Because of that, the H2O within the thylakoid disc begins to split via the H2O splitting enzyme, the byproduct being four hydrogen ions and uh, one molecule of oxygen. The molecule of oxygen, our first byproduct, will then leave via uh, diffusion uh, from high, high concentration to low concentration via the stoma. As that's happening, we're getting an abundance of hydrogen ions within the thylakoid disc itself. This becomes very acidic. As we know, hydrogen uh, ions are very acidic. The only way in which the hydrogen ions can leave is via uh, the ATP synthase. ATP synthase takes uh, an ADP molecule as well as one phosphate molecule, and it combines them, making ATP. But it, as it's the only way for our hydrogen ions to leave, uh, and that process is known as chemiosmosis. All right. So uh, that being our second byproduct is ATP located here. Moving on, as uh, our photosystems are as photosystem two and one are being hit by the sun's beautiful photons, uh, the electrons begin to move down the electron transfer chain. As that's happening, hydrogen ions that exist within the thylakoid disc uh, are now actually being pulled in as they are being uh, pulled in via the hydrogen pump. Uh, the reason why this is happening is due to the electrons transfer of energy uh, so it constantly needs to, to supplement moving down uh, as we hit chlorophyll one uh, the last place uh, in which the uh, electrons are hitting are in by chlorophyll one however uh, because the chlor chlorophyll one is being stimulated by the sun we can actually pull the electrons from chlorophyll two as they're being taken from the uh, H2O. As that's happening, we now have our NADP. Uh, in order to have our complete product, uh, an hydrogen ion from here is taken over and uh, the equation is complete, giving us NADPH. And that is our final byproduct. That is photosynthesis explained at a collegiate level. I hope you learned something today. Thank you. Good night.